Today we have visited Flames Pizza for Panika's birthday. We wanted to eat a, a, a nice junk food uh, snack, so we came to this uh, pizza's corner. It has absolutely delicious pizzas, and they don't use ovens, regular ovens to cook pizza, bake pizzas. They use a fireplace oven. So let's get started. This is started in 2017. This uh, summer of 2017. So okay. four years. Four years ago. So how did you get this unique idea of making uh, uh, furnace? Uh, what, is, what is this called? It's called the wood fire oven. So it's, how did you get this idea? So I worked in a similar place in Canada. Oh. And uh, it's not unique though. Everyone does it. It's just that. Uh, I mean, in uh, famous brands like Domino's and uh, Pizza, you don't see this. Yeah. So that's what they're not a competition for this very reason. Yeah. It's not a wood this fire. Uh, authentic uh, way of making this, this is pizza. the way they make pizzas in Italy. Yeah, how across Italy. Yeah. Yes. So long does it take for the pizza to bake in this? On a hot oven day, it takes about less than three minutes. Yeah. Faster than a regular electric oven. Yeah. Uh, on a normal day, it should take about four minutes. That's when it's not too hot. When it's very hot, it takes about less than three minutes. So, which is your most best-selling uh, uh, pizza? Over the there? best-selling pizza is the margarita, the queen margarita. Comes with buffalo mozzarella, basil leaves, yeah. olive oil, and the red sauce. And these are the uh, big spatulas you use to the pizza. Sorry? Uh, yeah, so we use that's called the peel. We use that to rotate the oven. Okay. And uh, that's that's also the peel. We use that to launch the pizza itself. Okay. You can just see that process there. This is yours. garlic bread of flames pizza it's very cheesy and tastes awesome as you can see the pizzas are thin crust and are wood charred they, they are absolutely delicious uh, now at the conclusion yeah. uh, firstly we would like to uh, say that uh, the pizza over here was absolutely delicious and never eaten such a pizza before you could feel the smoky flavor of the wood in the pizza and it had a uh, good, good amount of cheese and flavor in it now, Panika also has a question for you. So, how did you come up with such unique names? Names for the pizzas? Yeah. Okay, that was just, uh, I mean, there was nothing, no thought put behind it. It was just... Like just Tex-Mex. Like so, Tex-Mex, nothing but because uh, the chipotle sauce is from Texas. Uh, it's a Mexican-inspired uh, thing. That's why the name came oh, Tex-Mex. So uh, uh, yeah, the sauce which we put on top of that chicken. It's inspired by uh, a Mexican flavor. It's very so spicy. It's related uh, to the ingredients. Uh, yes, it's related to the ingredients which derive some Mexican cuisine. And then I, uh, I also had a question. Yeah. So, do you plan to have more outlets in the future? So, we do definitely plan to have multiple outlets. Uh, yeah. the, so that everybody can reach out. Yeah. So, sort of, it's, it's we have spent four years now in this area, so we sort of know what works, what doesn't work. Yeah. So. We are trying for another outlet towards the city. So I do hope it comes closer to my house also so I can have it. Where do you put up? At a regular place. Yeah. Where are you put up? Uh, I live in Sakhanagar. Oh, Sakhanagar. Okay. Nice. So, uh, uh, so uh, finally I would just like to say that this, the pizza was awesome. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. I would love to visit this place again. Thank you. Thank you so much.